So I launched a brand new software product in under one hour, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do the same thing. So these are the results of my software, Chat IQ AI. Uh, 752 users in under 48 hours, and within two months, I hit £7,500 in monthly recurring revenue for my software product. Uh, and this is the system that I used to validate and make sure this product would work. And this is the tweet that I did for the new software product that I came out with. Now, this stuff that I'm just going to share in this video is insanely valuable. The guys in my paid community know all about this, but I want to go into a little bit more detail in this YouTube video. So make sure you put down your phone and pay attention. Just give me 20 minutes. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. So basically, and I'm going to go through how to do this if you don't have an audience as well. So bear with me on that. But basically, I had an idea for a product. And what it would do is it would turn a YouTube video into a uh, newsletter post and then publish it onto Beehive. Beehive is a newsletter software. I'll get to that in a minute. And then what I did is I created this headline, which basically shows off what the product can do in its benefits. So let's just read through this. It passed a 5,200 word YouTube transcript through an agent chain. Now, AI agents are sort of well known. People kind of know what they are in the dev developer community. Uh, that's why I sort of used that phrasing. Uh, created a newsletter advertising the product so people know it's going to save them time because it's just taken all of this text. It creates a newsletter, meh but it also advertises a product. This is a key thing here because it has a potential to make them money. Uh, and then I sent it to over 9,600 people and this is the result that it got me. And that result is a monetary result. So if you're doing B2B software, make sure there is a result that's going to make someone money, save them money or save them time. Those are sort of the three things you want to focus on. Ideally, something that's going to make them money. And then what I did is I crafted that and you can pause this and read this, right? But I crafted out the rest of this tweet in a way to show the story of how the product works. So let's just whistle stop through this. First screenshot is just a screenshot of a transcript. So I didn't actually build this product. I want to just really hammer that home. Do not build your product first. The goal here is we want to make sure that we can validate a product in an hour rather than spending four months building something and then have something flop. So this tweet probably took me an hour to craft, just creating the screenshots and the images and coming up with the idea for the tweet. But that is an hour that I saved. Um, so look at this. This is the transcript of the video. This here is a, an image showing the agents working, right? You can create this in Word, right? You don't need to. This is actually written out. This is a print statement in Python, but it doesn't matter. You can write it in Word. Uh, and it shows how it would work. And you can pause this and, like I say, you can read what I'm actually saying in this tweet and how this is actually part of the messaging. Uh, and then I showed the results of it building the newsletter. And again, you could either write this newsletter if you were doing the same product, right? You write the newsletter, or what you do is you give your transcript to ChatGPT and you say, write me a newsletter. And then basically I'm showing that the agents would turn that transcript into a newsletter and publish it to Beehive. There you go. That's what the product does. And then I showed the results of sending that newsletter out. Admittedly, these results are pretty crap, but you get the idea. Uh, 10,000 people opened, got the email. 32% of them opened it. 4.3% of them clicked through on that link. Uh, and then at the bottom, I added in this statement here, which basically explains the monetary value of using this product, which is 500 people clicked on the newsletter, five sales calls booked, and one person bought. The reason I added this in was two things. One, it shows them that it actually makes them money. And two, a lot of people don't trust AI-generated content. So if I show that the AI-generated content actually made me money and does actually work, then they're probably not going to care so much. Anyway, as a result of that, I then sent them to a waitlist. And this is basically just an email opt-in form that looks like this, where someone can go ahead and give me their email address if they want to use this software. And this is very important. I deliberately crafted this page in a way that was going to be less clickbaity, more in a way that's just going to get them to want me want to give me their email address if they would actually use the product. Because I don't want to be doing like a lead magnet, which is, for those of you who don't know, giving them like a digital download or a free course if they give us their email. I don't want to do that because it's going to skew the data. The point that I'm trying to make here is I want to make sure that if I get 2,000 views on a Twitter post, I get a certain number of emails for me to decide that the idea is validated and for me to decide it's worth committing more time to the project. Because if I only get one or two emails from this post, it's not going to be, you know, it's going to be a hard job to market the product. So I basically just said, join it if you'd like to use this product. And then I said the estimated price is 50 to $75 per month. And I do this because I want people to know that I'm going to charge for the product and I want them to know how much that would be. So they're not going to give me their email address if they're not happy to pay this price for this product idea. That is basically all you need to do. Now, this software is called Beehive, and this is the results that I got. Three people gave me their email address, and one of those people 
got confused about the idea. If we look at the tweet, this guy here was just commenting, asking for help about growing his newsletter. And then Jennifer basically got confused and thought the product was something completely different. Uh, so she actually opted in, but in the end, she wouldn't have actually used it. So actually only got two people giving me their email address from this post. Now we've got 1400 views, which is actually fairly okay for Twitter. It's not bad for my account, but at 1400 people, only three people signed up. And like I say, guys, this is the stuff I go through with my paid guys in the community. The link for that is down below uh, if you want to get access to that. But this is my software. And this is the same process that I use to build Chat IQ. So this is what it looks like now, but this product didn't exist when I first launched it. Uh, I didn't go ahead and build this product because this has taken me a year to get to this point. I know it doesn't look like much, right? But it took me a year to get to this point and debug it and make sure people are actually paying for it and using it. And now I'm getting like 2,000 people every 48 hours on YouTube seeing it. But I did a tweet right at the start where I had this post here. 138,000 people saw this video, went to my website and signed up to Chat IQ. Now at the time they could sign up because I had a, like a very basic version because I'd actually done some pre-qualifying tests before, but I've done that in another video. But the point is you promote your product before you've built it. If you get hundreds of thousands of views, great. You get a load of email addresses. You've done free marketing. The biggest problem that you need to get over as somebody who's beginning is the whole, if I share my product idea, somebody's going to steal it. The point is, if you don't share your product idea, you're never going to market it, right? And if you don't market it, you're never going to make any money from it. So someone's going to steal your idea anyway at some point. You might as well test if it's worth you actually spending time on it. Uh, so 138,000 views from this post actually led to me getting 752 people signing up to my product. Now, key point to mention here, this is a... These are people actually able to use the product. Um, I did do some pre-testing before this. I did some market research before this. I spoke to businesses before I actually launched it on TikTok. But it's the same principle. You share your idea with people. If you get enough interest and feedback that's positive, go ahead and build the product and then market it. So this is like stage two. But you can see here, 752 people out of 138,000 views. So just to give you an idea of conversion rates, for the Chat IQ software... 0.54% of the people who visited, sorry, who saw the video on TikTok actually signed up physically for the product. Uh, I think they also had a free trial on here as well. I don't think they all signed up for a free trial, but they knew that it was going to be a free trial paywall. So this, if, was, if this was like a waitlist newsletter like this one, probably would have been about 0.75% or 1% of people. This YouTube uh, to newsletter agent software that I built 0.21% of the people who viewed the Twitter post signed up to the waitlist. That is a tiny number of people. It's less, it's about half of the number of people who actually saw the video signed up than for this software. So this is basically a clear demonstration of product validation and just don't bother with it, right? You're going to waste your time. Now, ideally, you want to be aiming for a greater than 1% sign up rate from don't forget right guys for those of you who are marketers out there this is from views this isn't from traffic onto the website because you'll probably find if you get a hundred thousand views only one percent of those people will click onto your website and then you'll probably get a 50 percent of the people will give you their email address but this is from views right now now if you want to find like a, a product that's going to be absolute viral million dollar idea if this number was like greater than five percent you're onto something huge so these are kind of like rough kpis key performance indicators that you want to be focusing on so now although it took me about an hour to create this tweet and this is going to be the problem that you're going to face right you've got to sit down there and you've actually got to craft some marketing material you've got to start with marketing and this took me one hour to do but as a result I realized that nobody was going to pay for this product. Nobody would use it and it wouldn't be worth my time marketing it, which means, yeah, I lost one hour building this, but actually I saved myself in reality probably about three months. And the reason I did that was because it would have taken me three months to build a product that when I then market it this way, people could have signed up for. So imagine this, right? You have an idea for a product like this and you decide you're not going to share it with people because you don't want people to steal your idea. So you spend three months building the product, and then finally, you're ready with your product. It's debugged, you're happy with it, it works, you're really pleased with your product, and you think because you spent three months on it, other people will pay for it. So you go onto Twitter, and you pour your heart out, and you explain to people exactly what your product does. You do a tweet like this, and it flops. It gets 1,500 views, and three people sign up. And out of that, nobody pays for it. So now you've wasted three months, and nobody pays for your product. So what do you do? Well, then you have to force marketing, which is just going to be so much harder. So just trust me on this one. This is the way to do it and you don't have to use twitter right i said twitter because 
it's the easiest for me to create content on because I'm really busy. Creating video content all the time takes time, especially for short form content. But you could turn this tweet into a twi uh, TikTok or an Instagram reel. Or what I would actually recommend you do is you create an Instagram account, a TikTok account, a Twitter account, a YouTube account, and you create this one piece of content across all of them. And then you measure the traffic from all of them and you see which one works and how much the conversion rates are for the entire thing. That way you get much more traffic. Um, and if you want like a general idea on how to go ahead and start doing this for yourself, here's some ideas for like products and how I would recommend you do it. By the way, go ahead and follow me on, actually follow me on everything, right? Subscribe to this video. But here's what you need to do. Let's say, for example, you're going to build an AI product. You like AI. You have an idea for an AI product. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to create an account which talks about AI app ideas. That is it. So I'm going to use Twitter as the example here. Uh, I did a tweet a few days ago where I said, app idea, SaaS co-founder marketplace. We all want to build products, but many of us hate marketing. Imagine a place where you could find someone with an existing audience and pay your developer skills with their desire to monetize their audience. Build partnerships could be cool, right? 1,200 views. You're going to create an account which literally just talks about this. It just shares different app ideas. So imagine it's like a note board for you. Every time you have an idea for a product, tweet it. That is it, right? And at the bottom of that, you want to put a link to a waitlist newsletter, and you're going to use Beehive for that. So if you come to Beehive, uh, and you come to Settings, and you go to Publication, you can see here, this is the title of the newsletter, YouTube to Newsletter Agent, this bit here. And then this is the description, Join the Waitlist. This is the description. So every time you do a tweet, just tweak this, change it, and then make sure that the link for that tweet is coming to this specific newsletter. And then just make sure that you know how many people were signed up beforehand, how many people signed up after the tweet, minus those two numbers, and then you know your conversion rates of the number of people that signed up from that one tweet. So it's incredibly easy to do, right? I'm not saying you're going to get 1,200 views on your first tweet. You'll probably get 10 views. But if you don't start, you're not going to get anywhere. Uh, and the easiest way to actually get views is with TikTok. Dog. Now I'm going to show you some other app ideas. It's very important that you're always testing and you're always researching and seeing what the market wants and what people want from either your product or from your idea. So I do this quite regularly. I will put tweets out where I'll say, look, app idea. You type in a to-do list, the app prioritizes it, time blocks it and sets a work calendar for you, right? These are things I'm thinking I could quite easily build this. But people say, no, this already exists. Isn't this just motion, right? So it's called motion. People know it exists, but nobody wants it anyway. So there's two factors there for me to just not build it. Now, I wouldn't recommend you do product research just through polls because this post here, I'm building an automation that turns uh, blog posts into newsletters, was the first iteration of this product, which actually turns YouTube into newsletters rather than blog posts into newsletters. And every single person who voted on this, we've got 85% of people said yes. But if you actually look into the data more, only seven votes, which is not very many votes at all, uh, and 500 views. So how many of those people clicked on this just to see the results and see what other people had voted? Probably like 20%. Um, and then out of those people, this is very low intent. So Getting someone to click on a vote is very, very low intent. Getting someone to go onto a website and give you their email address just for the sake of them wanting a product is much higher intent. And that's what we're looking for. We want to be basing it off statistics like this, off KPIs like this. If people are willing to give you their email address and wait for your product and they know the price that it's going to be when it's released, then you're onto something. You don't want to be just testing just through polls. Because if I had tested through this poll and I said, look, 85% of people want this product. This is insane. I'm going to go ahead and build it. I'd spent three months building it, and then I promote it, and I get three people signing up for it. Then I've wasted my time again. So the point is, you know, out of like, the, if you let's just build a funnel, right? There are four ways that you can start to test product ideas. The first one is just views. How many views does your tweet get or does your post get if it's just an advert for your product? So obviously, this one here is an advert for a product. It only got 1,500 views. If this had got a million views for this, then you know people clearly onto the product, you're onto a good idea because people find that interesting as it is. So it's enough to advertise it just talking about the product, right? So you don't want to be doing that because it's just not enough data to be going off. You've got no real idea. Very, very low intent, right? So the idea here is, right, imagine this as a graph, right? As we go down the ideas on the funnel, the intent of that idea becomes greater. It may not be exponential, right? It may be a linear graph, right? It's just linear, right? The point is, 
viewing a video is very very low intent people are doing that anyway they're consuming content on social media so just going off view kpis isn't really important people voting on something is slightly higher intent right but it's still not very very high waiting for a product this is a wait list joining a wait list going onto a landing page and giving you their email address is significantly higher intent than a vote for the product and obviously the higher the intent you go the better it will be but also don't forget right this is also imagine this is intent or work done the amount of work that you have to do to build a product or to get to this point increases as well so to get to the payment point right, and you can split this into two we can have double dollar for this one right so this one could be a um, pre-sale pre-order so for this one you need a landing page with a payment link on it a checkout form for people to actually pay you ideally this is how you want to be testing but it's quite annoying you've got to keep setting up landing pages you've got to sell it a little bit more it takes a bit more time so you want to be focusing on one of these two this one would be actually having the product built right and realistically right this is actually an exponential because you're going to be let me just draw this Right, that makes a bit more sense. So the amount of work that you need to do to get from a pre-sale page to an actual product page, like not product page, but like this is the actual product built, is a significant one. This is greater than 2x. It's probably like three, four times the amount of work. This is like you're looking at three, four months worth of work to get to this point. So realistically, you want to be focusing on these two to validate your product ideas because realistically, the amount of time to actually build a wait list is not much more different to just building the tweet. Right, the time spent to build an entire product is significantly larger than to build a wait list. So that's what we're trying to work for. Is this happy? We'll call this like the Goldilocks zone, this area here. Uh, anyway, that is how you're going to start testing your product ideas. Now, if you've got any other ideas for videos, let me know down below in the comments. I will do another video on how to get product ideas. But realistically, right, go onto Reddit and search for my SaaS made me this much money and have a look at some of the ideas that people have got. That's probably like the best part to actually start. This guy 12 days ago turned my hoodie into a main source of income. What exactly is he doing? Read this. If it works, have a look at his product and then build the same thing and start marketing it and do it better than he is. I will do another video on that. But in the meantime, if you guys want to be able to build a software product, you want to learn how to scale it, how to market it, uh, the link down below in the description will take you to my website. You can go ahead and purchase my, it's like a community course thing. Uh, you can get access to a whole load of stuff which will teach you how to build your product. You can get access to a plug and play product that you can actually start selling how to build with no code all the marketing stuff you need to know uh, i'll do coaching calls on there as well that is 50 dollars a month at the moment the price may go up you get a seven day free trial uh the link for that is down below in the description uh if it's not built yet it will be built very very soon but i'll see you guys in my next video subscribe